Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a very sweet stiletto design. This is what I made. Cute, right? You want to know how it's made? Keep watching. So here's my tip. And on the beginning of it, I'm going to apply some base on top. And I'm going to get my detailer a little bit sticky. And I have some beautiful inlay glitters. Just randomly putting them somewhere. Like this. And also, I have some gold foil. And this I'm going to put there too. Of course, you can play with it. It's all up to you. And now I'm also I'm putting this away. And I'm going to put some out of here, because I only need some tiny parts of the shells. And these I'm going to put here too. So it's a beautiful soft mixture of glitter and gold. My glitters are cured and now I'm going to add some beautiful frosted uh, power gel. Come, let's have a look. I'm adding it right here. I'm taking my Ikebana brush and gently pull it forward to make a reverse nail bed. But I'm not pulling it in the right position at this moment because first I'm going to softly blend it into my first layer of inlay. Gently. My frosted pink is cured, and now I'm going to continue with the clear power gel. And this one I'm going to add at the end of the nail, or the beginning, depends on you. And this one I'm going to put over the inlay. So let's have a look. So as you can see, my frosted power gel is over there. And my clear power gel, I will be starting from right here. And I don't need to make my nail bed any higher, so I'm trying to blend it in my frosted power gel. My nail bed is fully cured, and now I'm going to continue with a beautiful, lovely pink color. And the color is falling in love again. Well, let's see what I'm going to make. So I'm going to paint my wall. But also, I'm going to make it a little bit wider because I'm going to create an extra 3D ring. My nail bed is fully cured and now I'm going to continue to color my wall with white. I made a mixture of a whitest white gel polish and a liner gel white. So it's a little bit softer than the liner white, but also very pigmented. And because it's so highly pigmented, you really need to cure it in the LED. And afterwards, I'm coming back and I'm going to continue with my pink color. I'm continuing with a beautiful pink color. It's this one. It's the falling in love again. I'm not going to create only the wall, because I'm going to add another soft 3D line. And that's why I'm going to add a little bit more of the pink. So I'm going a little bit wider. My magic shine is fully cured, and now I'm going to add some pigments. And I have these two. Look. I'm having the pink pigments and the gold. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the pink, and on the other side, a little bit of the gold. 
So you get a gentle mixture of gold and pink. I'm making the 3D band. My 3D ring is ready and I also filed it a little bit and now I'm going to continue with the rest of my nail. I added some rubber base and now I'm going to put in some glitter again. I prepared a little bit on my paper palette that I want to show you. Here is Power Gel White, and this is the beautiful Falling in Love color. And I'm softly mixing it a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. And this is enough. Now I'm going to bring this to forwards. And at this point, I'm going to blend it in the nail. The same as you did here with the frosted, but then all the way around. And this is with the mix of white and pink. I finished everything and this is my end result. A beautiful soft and pink design. Well, I hope you like it and I will see you next time. Bye.